We are an NGO, so we are looking at uh, this issue uh, from a development point of view. And uh, for us, uh, uh, it's mandatory the, in, is the importance of the local and um, authorities. I mean, local authorities, I mean the, the national authorities, the local uh, in, uh, of the country. Uh, because uh, if they are aware of the needs of the rural areas, the funds might be channeled uh, through uh, programs that have a result uh, foreseen. So our uh, uh, thinking is to have result-based funds, uh, grants, basically, to uh, uh, avoid basically that all the funds are channeled to the main uh, grid, the main uh, infrastructures. Um, we have to remember that uh, the infrastructure have, are quite costly, so mini grids are not a uh, step between uh, no electrification and uh, national grid electrification. Can be an alternative, and the cost avoided cost to bring there the national grid can be the key to turn. Uh, and to show to the donors that uh, that uh, is a, f a way to where to channel the funds. So from uh, not from uh, centralized uh, investment, but uh, to the region, re uh, rural areas, uh, authorities. In the rural areas, uh, there are resources, are few, financial resources are few, but there are so. Basically, we found out that uh, the more problematic part in the distribution is not to pay the bills, but to pay the connection. So the connection cost is the one that they have to be uh, in somehow in, uh, uh, helped. Uh, that can be done or through uh, programs that are uh, uh, financing this uh, last uh, part of the distribution or else uh, using um, a sort of uh, uh, system in where you put inside the tariff uh, even the cost for the connection in a way to have a loan that is repaid through the, um, uh, the connection, the bills, uh, uh, electricity bills. Another issue that we are, uh, that I think is very important uh, is uh, that uh, uh, the implementation of of a pay uh, as you go system, so with prepaid meters, uh, is something that is uh, for sure useful for the utility that is managing the system, uh, but as well for the peoples, because it uh, allows people to understand better uh, their consumption. Uh, we have to think about that, uh, that uh, normally in the rural areas, people never had electricity, so don't know how to use it, uh, and uh, don't know how to uh, basically uh, uh, regulate their consumption. So uh, the pay pays go systems or prepaid meters uh, allow people to understand better the use of electricity. So this for us is a key uh, component in uh, uh, granting uh, sustainability for the families uh, in the payment of the bills and consequently to pay, to recover the investment. The uh, private investment uh, needs uh, an environment uh, friendly, friendly environment. And friendly environment doesn't mean just uh, uh, policy that uh, is allowing it. Uh, of course the policy is something uh, that is on the top, but sometimes policies are just on the papers and then are not really uh, applicable or applicable, uh, applicate. Uh, so, uh, for us, uh, we think that the uh, energy sector needs uh, uh, to have a specialized policy in terms of uh, grants uh, because some of the parts of the of an, uh, a project uh, are not profitable As for example the distribution system uh, since the in ma many countries in Africa uh, you are facing in the rural areas a very scattered village uh, where with distances that are quite far the distribution is challenging is a problem it can't be uh, profitable with the consumption that, that uh, you can expect from rural areas. So, uh, to uh, involve more the private sector, you need to, to leverage uh, the problematic sides of the projects. So, the distribution and the transmission are two aspects that have to be uh, considered. Moreover, you have uh, the, 
the, the, the upfront cost that uh, can be problematic sometimes. Uh, for example, the, all the bureaucracy behind the project, uh, if the project is not big enough, uh, then affect evilly the investment. So, uh, a possibility to have a different procedure that address different size of project that for sure help. Just to give an example, in Tanzania uh, to have a 10 megawatt project or a 10 kilowatt project from the point of view of the environmental impact assessment doesn't change at all. So the cost is the same. That of course uh, is not a problem for a 10 megawatt project but if you have a mini grid, a very isolated mini grid with very few customers, becomes a problem.